One final egg remains. One hidden within my own court by Terranus, in a secluded chamber of starlight and potential. The confluence has aligned, and our goal is in sight. To know all our efforts are coming to fruition is exhilarating. Is that a smile I hear in your voice, Osiris? You're lucky the Guardians a few words, lest they ruin your stoic reputation in the tower. Mm. I cannot help but feel alive in this moment, though there is still much to do. It seems possible now. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a new Destiny 2 video for you guys. As you guys saw from all that, uh, it's our final week of the Season of the Wish storyline. And I'm hoping it ends with a bang because if you guys didn't notice, I didn't put out a video last week because nothing fucking happened. Uh, they had us run around and do a bunch of busy work. That was an accident. And the only big takeaway is that Riven can only send one person through the portal. And of it's going course. to be Crow. My final child is held captive in the Queen's private way. How ironic. How <laughs> appropriate. Just think. If we had continued working together with respect, with trust, as equals, we could have built so much more than this city. Yeah, but you'd never respect for anybody but yourself. We could have been friends. Do you feel it, Mara? We stand before the end. All that remains is to know whether we are swept away by it, or it breaks against us. And to see what consequences our wish has wrought. That is where my mind rests. I'm really, really hoping Let hope that final ready. shape is a banger, man. Hope, yes. But also our metal, our actions. I am confident in our heading. Come what may. In Crow. In us. As am I. We've spent so long holding together the pieces, Osiris. Do you worry what will come after all of this? No. I welcome it. I'm tired, Mara. I'm ready for what comes next. It's all right to admit you are too. Man, I've been ready for what comes next for a long time. Like, this season, I wanted this season to be cool. I didn't have any real expectations for it to be. The storyline's been okay. Oh, my God. Um, This is new. This I wasn't ready for. This is kind of cool. Have we been here before? Oh, I think we were here School way back when. This place is woven into the confluence. To expose it for us was to expose it to the enemies already within our walls. Ah. And the scorn have long been within these walls. Then we will remove them. Yeah. While I'm senselessly killing things, I can talk some more. Uh, the aesthetic behind this, you know, another Awoken season. The Awoken seasons are fine. But, like, last week really pissed me off. They had us go kill a bunch of enemies in different areas throughout the Dreaming City and then do the blind well again, and that was it. The big takeaway is Crow's going to be the one going in because between him and Mara, you know, they're attached. They've always been attached. And he thinks that he can use their connection to lead us into the portal after him. And now we're going to get Riven's final eggs so that Riven will finally, you know, grant his wish. I mean, it all makes sense. It's just the execution for this season was very mid. Like most of the season Bungie's hit us with look recently. Alright, now I can get the buff. Even this, even though we're in a different location that we haven't been to, it's basically the same thing. 
We kill a bunch of enemies. We get the uh, the enemies that that drop the buff, the poison buff for us to break through there. The, these guys. So that way we can break through the other ones. And then we go kill them. We cleanse ourselves. We get the poison, the ephemeral virus. Kill these guys. And then we can cleanse ourselves in that puddle. But we're gonna go break this guy's shield first. Oh cool, he's dead. And we're done. Hopefully there's a little more to it. I do like the new area though. This looks really, really cool. Really? A whim. A whim. Remember, whim is what they call uh, Baby Ahamkar. Hold that. New areas, new boss. See, why couldn't Bungie just do this every week? Like, even though it's still technically the same stuff we've been doing, you know, go through the path of the coil or Riven's Lair, kill a bunch of enemies, go through Riven's Lair again, fight a boss. Just having this aesthetic difference just shows a little bit more effort from Bungie. I know I've sounded like such a doomsayer, like such a complainer, but it's just like, come on, you guys know the formula. Like, look, now even this, this shield mechanic that's been around for weeks, having to use it to actually fight a boss, like, that changes everything. Oh, I, I fucking... I cleansed myself too early. Fine. Look, look, look at this. This is a, like a real fight. Dudes everywhere. A mechanic I actually have to do. Like, come on. This is the fun shit. Maybe make it just a little bit harder. But they also want to make it so, like, more casual players can still solo it. Oh shit, I gotta get rid of this. Alright, let's see if we can't do that. Hold this. And that. Got him. Bye. Oh wait, they're still going. Okay, there they go. Let's get this last egg. Could that have worked? Could the scorn have brought a wish to fruition like that? No. At least, I do not believe it is possible. Though I wasn't willing to see them try. Hell no. This egg is not the first to find itself in your court. Did you intend to breed the Amkara? She did have a, an Amkara egg in her court. I intended to maintain a suitable suite of options from which to choose. Nothing more. Those plans were made so long ago, Osiris, and the eggs corrupted beyond healing. Taken. Things are different now. Whether the Amkara live on is not mine to choose. To relinquish control is almost as frightening as trust or hope. Sometimes... That is all we have. And in that trust, our pact concludes. I will make your wish. All right, here we go. This needs to be epic. Come on, Bungie. Make me proud. Riven's last clutch. Plucked from the void and saved from extinction. Maybe that bodes well for the rest of us. Either way, we held up our end of the bargain. Now it's Riven's turn. Hey. <clears throat> I need to tell you something while I have the chance. That first moment when I woke up in the Dreaming City, I was so lost, confused. I didn't know where to go, who to trust. 
everyone hated me for something I couldn't even remember. Mm. You... You helped me find my footing. And when my memories came back... Because we're a real one. Everything made less sense than ever. You were there to see me through. You gave me the chance to walk through the Dreaming City with my head held high and the courage to follow a new path. Thank you, Guardian. For everything. Crow did have some good character development. See a star side. And now him combining himself with, with Aldrin's memories, like he just accepted that as part of himself, and he's learned from all that. And even, you know, his relationship with Mar, he kept her away. He's like, I'm not your brother, you know, that's fucking somebody else. He's now calling her his sister. So it's a big deal. But now to the Wall of Wishes. Has the time come for my final meal? Oh, God. Your ambitions fed me well before. I've never tasted such a gulf between desire and reality. What does that even mean? Then you oh. killed me. Us wanting to kill her? Now you and I have returned to the start. Last meal. Last word. Last wish. May it bring you everything you deserve. Damn. It's funny that she's saying it like that because, you know, this was the last wish raid. I think it's cool that the pathway is just opening up for us. Complete your brain. We're going to make the final wish. That's it. There's no cutscene. Nothing. Come on, really? That's it. Uh, let's go talk tomorrow. Was I wrong? I was wrong. This one you should cherish, oh guardian mine. What the fuck? So she made a whole new portal. You're sure about this? I am. It has to be me. We'll find each other again. Always. She is terrified, and that is a side of Mara we never see. Thank God they had this cutscene, because if we had no cutscene, I was about to be pissed the fuck off. And damn, we gotta wait like six months. As you did yours. Isn't that a pleasant surprise? For that, at least, you have my thanks. And you have mine for always providing such a unique challenge. To impose your desires upon reality so artfully, you could teach my children a great deal. Until we meet again, Mara. I wonder, like, so she wants Mar to keep the clutch, and like, it was almost like mutual respect between the two of them, which was weird because they were so anim animalistic toward each other. What is that? Is she feeling? Is she feeling crow? Is he? He is on his way. Wait, what?
That was interesting, but a little too cliffhangery. It's no small feat, the things you've helped accomplish today. Thanks to you, and guardians like you, Crow has grown, walked his own path. In aiding Riven's clutch, you've averted the annihilation of an entire species, provided a chance for her children to choose their own paths. We'll be there to guide them, should they... Require it, that's fine. Require it. Riven was never truly an ally, but common cause aligned us in a way I had not anticipated. Relying on her was a risk, true. But there was a time when the Vanguard was averse to trusting me as well. Also true. Trust D1, maybe. Risky. Vulnerable. But House of Wolves. Is to hope. That was when our relationship with the Awoken started to come together. It separates us from the witness. A creature that is the death of those things. Of all things. I've peered into its eclectic souls and found only nihilism. Mm. Even now, the soul divisive burns through the dreaming city and the confluence. You've granted the wish, carved a path, but battles remain before you. Expunge the Vex from the dreaming halls while Osiris prepares the veil to forge a bridge to my brother. This will allow you to lead a strike force into the Traveler's Pale Heart and rendezvous with Crow. From there, it will be the fight of your lives. Steal yourself. Oh man, we got a long time to wait. A long time to wait. Alright guys, and that's it. As you can see, Riven's all gone. Uh, how did I feel about it? The mission was pretty basic, the same thing we've been doing all season. But like I said, as you guys heard me going through it, the aesthetic changes really made it much more enjoyable. A better boss, a different area, finally. And some of the story beats were cool. That final cutscene, while I would have liked something a little more epic, uh, seeing Mara so vulnerable was interesting enough. And now... Now we gotta wait until final shape this summer. <laughs> it's gonna be a long one, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with Destiny until then. Uh, I've always loved this game, but lately, it's just hasn't been hitting the same way it used to. That's why you've seen so much Final Fantasy on the channel. But let me know what you guys thought of the season. Let me know how you guys feel about the finale. If you guys wanna check me out on social media, those links will be down below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.